<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Welcome back to the stream of the Great Ace Attorney, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, well, we finished off at least one part in the investigation, and now we, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do some more, I guess. Yeah. Let's go ahead and save. And, uh, I'm gonna save up here, so I'm gonna save on the top. Oh, I'm not even there yet. I'm just... Oh, there you go. Now I'm there. Okay. I can't believe he threw us out. And I can't believe we don't we didn't manage to learn anything about that speckled band. And I can't believe this is not butter. <laughs> I know. Just face palm. Yeah, that, that, yeah that, that was bad. Uh. Not being able to fully investigate that cabin didn't help matters either. Worst of all... Now that sailor is watching us even more closely than he was before. More like he's staring daggers at me. Oh! Well, come to think of it... Hmm? What's the matter? Where did that great detective of yours run off to? Now that you mention it, I haven't seen him skulking about for a while now. When did he slip away? Is he still in that room? He- I wouldn't be surprised if he somehow is. <laughs> he- he dutifully cuffed me again and vanished into thin air. Uh... I guess we can examine. Is there anything new? Uh, I'll... Besides the- the sailor, I guess we- not really. An hour door we can examine. Um, I guess we'll examine the sailor. I, it kind of bothers me that his shirt doesn't cover everything. <laughs> like, like, it's like, like, it would bother me if, if a shirt didn't f cover me like that. Oh. <laughs> and again, nobody would want to see that either. <laughs> oh, God. Cover it up! It's like a muffin top! <laughs> I really wanted to investigate Nikomino's cabin. Well, now you look like you're really wanting something. Um, yeah? Hmm. Are you looking to be thrown out of this cabin again, friend? No, no, no. I assure you, it's that's certainly not the case at all. Next time I toss you out, you go straight into ocean. Do not forget it. I'll be sure to remember that. I don't think I should be getting anywhere near that door until he forgets what I look like. <laughs> I didn't exactly think he'll be forgetting that anytime soon. <sighs> well, I guess we can go ahead and just investigate our door then. First class, cabin one. This is our room. It was never your room. It was Kazuma's room. Huh? The only space you can really claim as your own is there in that wardrobe. Oh, we said this already. Yeah, that's weird. I was crammed, I can barely fit inside. That's the life of stowaway. Oh, that reminds me. I wonder if Detective Hosanaga has found any new clues or leads in, Os in Osogi's cabin yet. We can always head inside and compare notes with him about the investigation again. Well, let's yes. do that then. Move. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> It looks like they're still investigating the scene. That reminds me. I wonder if Detective Hosonaka is still alive. Alive? Wait, wait, what do you mean by that? Narahudo, have you forgotten already? In order to grant you a prisoner the opportunity to investigate freely, he said something like, I will give my very life if only to persuade the captain. Oh, you're right. He did say that. Well, I figured the give my very life part was just an exaggeration. Should we go and check check in check in with him then? He might have some new information for us. Wait, can't we go somewhere else? Uh how? There's only Nikomina's cabin inside the hallway and Asogi's uh, Asogi's cabin. Right, and we couldn't move. 
like we couldn't like examine anywhere else in the hallway. Is there anything else? Hold on, I'm gonna see if there's anything we can examine in here. Some things we can re-examine. I don't know if it's needed or not. Should we try anyway? Uh, it's up to you. Let's re-examine. Um, let's do the body outline. <clears throat> ah! You okay? Yeah, the, the gannet. Ew. Okay. The body again? Yeah. These are the words written using the spilled ink. It seems they spell out the word wardrobe in Russian, according to several people fluent in it. That one points directly to you as the murderer, but you already knew that. If you want to finger me as a murderer, why not just write Narhoto in, in Russian? At any rate, there is one thing I can say for sure. I think it's difficult to imagine that Cosmo would write his final words in Russian at all. Well, if it wasn't a Sogi, then who in the world would wrote this? The real person? The murderer. The m m m d d uh, how about the desk to the left? Okay. This is where Sogi wrote his final journal entry. One hour and 23 minutes after midnight, I heard a sound like a... One hour and 35 minutes after midnight, I saw a speckled thing at the, at the air duct. When I look at his journal sitting open like that, it's hard to believe he's gone. Kazuma left us a valuable clue. And with it, I'm sure that we'll be able to solve this mystery. Right. Of course we will. And I guess finally, the, uh... Well, actually, let's do the bookshelf first. Okay. All the books are neatly lined up on the shelf once more. Just a little while ago, everything was on the bookshelf was in disarray. But you were the one who went ahead and straightened all, all it, straightened it all up again, right? Don't even think about knocking out the pla locking anything out of place again. Like I said, it wasn't Sogi or me that threw them all off. I just can't calm down in the presence of a messy bookshelf. Now I do find it interesting that like, it was messy in here and in and the other one, the other one. So it's like. Now, it's either somebody messed up both, or did something happen, like a hard wave, or, you know, something like that. I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk to the sailor. Um. You, where have you been? Sir, I was over in the next cabin performing an investigation. And just who gave you permission to do that? Uh, it was a sailor named Hosanaga. The new guy? I swear I'll roll him up into a ball and throw him into the freezer to cool down for a while. He already ran off again. Is Detective Hosnaga really going to be shoved into a freezer? I feel deeply indebted to him for this. When we return home, I'll make sure to order him a beefsteak a la Quattro's. Somehow I feel as though we're still a long way from making it back to Japan. <laughs> Okay, so I don't think there's anything else we can do in here, so let's head back into the hallway, I guess. Mm. Oh, examine, and then, uh... See, that, maybe... was, that wasn't there before, I could have sworn. The arrow. Oh, yeah, because you had to press examine. <laughs> I know, but I could have sworn that's what, we, what I did before. I Maybe I'm dumb. Anyway. Ah! Uh, yeah, now we can take a look at the door. <clears throat> uh, this door leads to the second class cabin. It's locked. It won't budge. Well, that makes sense. After all, you're not going to just let a suspected murderer waltz, waltz right out of their custody. Sato looked at me right in the eye as she said that. Well. Okay. Where are we supposed to go? Um, I'm very confused. You know, you know, like we you miss something so obvious. Like, I feel that's what's happening right here. Like, like we cannot go into Nikomino's cabin. 
I, I don't know. Mm. Let me go back to our cabin. Oh! Oh my god, we we didn't... What? We didn't move. There's somebody new. Where? Go back to Aso Asogi's cabin. Uh, oh. And then go to the left. That's where he was. Ugh. Why are we having a hard time looking at those arrows? I don't know. Anyway. Uh. Oh, crap. Hold on. I clicked uh -huh. on something. There we go. Uh, all right. Hi, Hosuna. Oh! What happened? Oh, my Did God. Yeah. Welcome back. D Detective Hosunaga. What's happened to you? Your face looks terrible. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, please, don't be alarmed. There's just a few bumps and bruises. I don't think I'd describe that just a few bumps and bruises at all. As I was reporting to the captain in regards to the permission I gave you to investigate, the crew started to jeer at me for it. Punch him in the face and throw him overboard! What? Soon, though, they decided to be content with only the punches, as you can see now. That's all it was, though. Nothing to be worried about. I guess he wasn't joking around when he said he'd put his life on the line. Thanks to you, we now understand the situation in our neighboring much better. Ah, so I've heard. Huh? Just a little earlier, a man billing himself as a great detective informed me of events. As I recall, I believe he said his name was, um, THE Sherlock Holmes, or something similar. I knew it. That man is everywhere. <laughs> anyway, since we're all here, would you like to compare notes? Yes. Yes. Oh, oh, oh sorry. You're good. <laughs> yes, a wonderful idea. Cabin next door. Well, can you believe it? Nikomina Borshevich is, is in the cabin right next to us. Oh? Do you know who she is? For a lover of ballet, it would be impossible not to have heard of that lovely fairy. <coughs> that was happening to me earlier. Yep. He got mad at me. Moving on, it seems settled that the adjacent cabin has no relation to the incident. Huh? Wait, why do you say that? A lovely fairy could not possibly do evil. Yeah, you know, uh, we said the same thing regarding Dahlia Hawthorne, so... Yeah, yeah. Yes, we did. Damn bitch! <laughs> <laughs> he, got, he got mad at me again. Excuse me, but has the invest investigation on the side made any further advancements? To be perfectly honest, there's, there's not much we're able to do right now. We have our hands full, ensuring the scene stays untouched until the Hong Kong police arrive. Uh, we've been told to keep an eye on things and not to lift our watch for even a second. I see. Oh, I almost forgot. I do have one new piece of information. Oh? Uh, please tell us anything you can! <gasps> what, what new information you got? Click it. So what is this new information? Tell us. Here, see for yourself. Ooh, Ooh this is a report that was written by the ship's doctor. No, that's well, Snaga. This is a report that was written by the ship's doctor about his examination after the corpse. Of the corpse. Uh. Asogi's post-mortem? Hazuma. So, well, how'd he die? The fatal injury should be listed in the report. His neck was broken, it seems. Oof. Oh, God. Yes, about that. As we observed before, the victim had no visible external injuries. Initially, it was presumed that the cause of death was poison. Uh. However, the doctor's report states that there wasn't a single trace of poison in his body. That what was a murder weapon? That could not be determined, since there were no external injuries. I fear he may have been bludgeoned with some kind of blunt object that left no wound. I see. The central nervous system connects to the body through the cervical... Uh, 
Yeah, cervical vertebrae. If one received a strong blow there, death without visible injury is not unlikely. Asoki. Here, I made a copy of the postmortem report. Please feel free to take it with you. Huh? I is that really all right? It'll be fine, because I believe in you. Oh. Oh, that was a sweet animation. His head tilted. I'm like. Oh. Now who's shipping these two together? <laughs> uh, how old? It hold on. Well, he's 29. Oh. Uh, oh. What? How old? Are, how old are we? Not a hudo. Oh, I don't know. I'm assuming. Wait. Well, we're in university. I assume like you know, twenties. Twenty so Okay. All right. It's legal. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> These two men can get together. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh. uh? If I didn't, I would not have approved of you stepping foot outside this cabin to begin with. Right? Oh, that's true. I mean, after all, he did take a pounding for him. <laughs> you know where I'm going with this, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm applying. The kids don't know, but we do. We do. Kids don't know what's happening, but we do. <laughs> oh. Postmortem. Made by the ship's doctor. Cause of death was trauma to the cervical vertebrae. No traces of violence or poison. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at that right now. Same. Let's see. Uh, estimated time of death was between 1 and 2 a.m. Well, can't we narrow that down a little bit more? Because didn't he say... It... Oh, no, go ahead. No, no, no you, you go ahead. Oh, basically, uh, in his journal, it said that at 123, he heard a low whistle. At 135, he heard the speckled... Or he saw a speckled band. So it's weird that the time of death doesn't say estimated time of death was between 130 or 135 to 2 a.m., which makes me think. Now, once again, don't confirm or deny anything, but it makes me think that did he write that himself? I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe I'm well, looking. That... Maybe I'm looking into this too much, but. Well. It's just weird. That it says one to two. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, but trauma of the cervical vertebrae sustained, causing instant death. It can be surmised that his neck was broken due to a severe shock. There are no visible traces of external injury or poisoning. So, um, there you go. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's, uh, talk about the great detective. I have theories, but I feel like it's too obvious. You never know. Hmm. Oh, so Mr. Holmes came by again while we were gone? Yes. He seemed content in inspecting the floor. In fact, he even crawled, ab or crawled around for a bit. But after just a few minutes, he gave up and left. <laughs> Sounds about right. He seemed rather yeah. restless and impatient. Did that great detective say anything at all? Hmm. Now that you mention it, he did say one thing in, in very loud, boisterous voice. This is shoe polish, he announced for all the world to hear. Shoe polish? I wonder what that's all about. As I recall, he was over there when he said it. Around where that broken bell is. Hmm. Was oh, was he... he referring to those brownish red marks on the floor, Detective? Ooh. Oh, so it's not diarrhea skin marks. Oh, good. Thank God. Ah, yes, that's right. But how did he know it was shoe polish? I uh, have the foggiest. When I asked, his reply was simply convoluted and it made my head spin. Is something wrong, Susato? Come to think of it, Cosmo had been wearing a pair of lace up brownish knee high boots. Brownish red? I remember those boots. It was, it was, it was a red so dark they almost seemed black. He often tended to them with a polish that was a color much like red wine. Oh, so then that would make these marks of a Soga's shoe polish. Huh. So like what, like his feet were dragged maybe? Maybe. Hmm. Because we learned that that glass bell thing is his, right? I think so. Now that I look at it, it looks pretty phallic. 
I'm sorry. What? What does? The glass bell. How? The. Oh, oh, God, it's Mina. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, I'm just saying. Looks like a peepee. <laughs> oh my God. Ah, oh, I am almost thirty. <laughs> Oh, God. I am 30. I'm afraid that this is all I can offer to speak about. <laughs> I have to return to my post soon. I can feel the sailor's eyes boring a hole into my head. Ugh. I understand. Well, thank you very much. Huff. The magic <laughs> dragon? <laughs> Actually, oh, that's, that's, that's Puff the magic dragon. So, is that song really about mar marijuana? Uh, I'm guessing. Didn't they have a Didn't they have a conversation about that in uh, Meet the Parents? I think so. That was a movie. I never watched any of the sequels though. What were the sequels? Wait, was there one or two sequels to that movie? I think one. It was Meet the Fockers, right? Yes. I, I could have sworn there was another one though. Oh, or why? Oh well. <coughs> <clears throat> All right, you can go ahead. Uh, you seem rather fatigued, sir. Ah. Uh, uh, not at all, friends. <sighs> there you are. I failed in my duty to protect the Sogi. I owe you this much. No. Of course, my suffering is trivial compared to what you two must be going through. Moreover, my head has been hurting since this morning. I've been unable to do anything about it. A headache? You know, well, come to think of it... I can still feel that dull, throbbing pain in the back of my head, too. Can I just- I want to say exactly what it is, but... No. Because <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> like, why? <laughs> like, why he's why his head's throbbing? Ah, oh, never mind. You gotta tell me. Don't forget to tell me. <laughs> Alright. I mean, I can tell you right now, really quick, without that put knowing. It, put it in Skype, or Discord. Oh. Uh, hold on, man, guys, while I discreetly talk to my co-host about <laughs> what I think it is. Oh, God. la dee la dee da Type, 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 type. da da <coughs> oh, there we go. Oh! Okay, got it. But I'm not sure how it relates to Host Naga, though. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, well, the air vent we can actually investigate. I don't oh, know if okay, it matters, so but let's just try it. Uh, there we go. That air duct leads into Nico, uh, Nikomina's cabin. Come on, go. <laughs> She's. Uh, yes, that's right. And just before his death, <sighs> Asogi witnessed something here. Yes, near that air duct, there was a speckled band. However, Nikomina seems to have no idea about anything appearing in the air duct. But is that really true? I don't know. I can't afford to let myself forget that I'm still a suspect in this, too. Nikomina, though, she just has the look of someone who's been caught red handed. Hmm. Was there anything else? I mean. Uh. The notice and then Hosanaga himself, but I don't know if it matters. I don't. I don't know. I mean, there's nowhere else we can go. I'm gonna look at the notice really quick. Okay. The yes of Claire's ship regulations are posted here on the placard. Do not say. Okay, yeah, we did this already. In the cabins, Nicomina was able to smuggle an animal aboard a ship despite the, these regulations. <laughs> Called her friend. Well, identity of our little friend is still unclear. It could be anything. Uh, she's hiding within a trunk we saw in her cabin. That makes sense. Sure sounds suspicious. Um, well, I guess we'll just talk to Hosanaga, maybe? Yeah. No, never mind. There's nothing new here. I guess uh, we I guess we do have to move. 
Do we have to present anything to him? Oh, crap. Uh, I don't think there was an option to present. Oh, to him. Yeah, you're right. Let's just go to the hallway. Because the only thing we have now... Oh, there we go. The new thing that we have is the post-mortem. Right. So... Oh! Look, Narahodo! Mr. Stroganoff is nowhere to be seen. S stro Stroga what? I'm not gonna stroke him <laughs> off. The hell's wrong with you? That's not what I'm talking about. You know, that Russian, the extremely brawny Russian sailor from before. Oh, oh, oh. why do Russian names have to be so tough to remember? I don't know. The hell? <laughs> Who's saying la la la? Uh. What in the... I heard the sound of someone's loud and enthusiastic humming nearby. La, 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 la. Oh. I, I'm not doing that. <laughs> that ridiculously obnoxious voice sounds rather familiar. Well, putting aside a singing for a minute, we have a perfect opportunity right here. Yes, let's renew our efforts. We must seize this opportunity to investigate Nikomina's cabin. Right. Yeah. Let's hurry up and get started before that Mr. Stroga something gets back. <laughs> Mr. Ravioli! It's Mr. Stroganov! <laughs> you idiot! Sorry, I was gonna make another really bad joke. I'm like, yes. Oh my god. I, I, she I, is 16. No, not, not about her! Dear god. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, why? Ow! Oh, neck cramp. Ah! Oh. Oh my god, I need a massage. That sounds great right now. Oh my god. Okay, sorry. Did you click in it? Um, in the cabin. Are you in there too? Yeah. Okay. It doesn't look like Nikomina's returned yet. Sasato? Huh? Where'd she go? Wow. Wait, Susato, you can't just... Time isn't on our side here. We have to investigate when we can, where we can. Okay, we're doing this for a Soki after all. Hmm. Not just for a Soki. Huh? It won't be long before we reach the next port, Hong Kong. Are you sure you still want to be wearing those handcuffs when we arrive? Susato. It's up to us, and us alone, to solve this case. All right. Let's do it. Aww. All right. Oh. Let's begin examining. Uh, what do you want to look at first? Uh, the closet, the wardrobe. Beep. On the right. Nadahoro, are you still here? Yes. I've been here the whole time. Oh, good. I was worried that if I took my eyes off you, you'd shut yourself up in that wardrobe. Do you think I'm some kind of freak who lives just to, who lives just to jump inside every available wardrobe? Hmm. From the looks of it, I don't think either of us would fit in there. It's full of beautiful garments. They all look like they're made to be used on stage. Too bad. I was hoping Nikomina's little animal friend might be hiding in here. Well... And speaking of our animal friend, uh, something seems open over there, but... Oh, crap. I want to investigate other things first. Uh, like the uh, that pole on the right, or like the red and gold thing. Oh. Eh. This is the same as the one we saw in the Sogi's cabin, isn't it? Yes, it's known as a call bell. Well, let's give it a quick tug. No! This <laughs> is... Sasato just grabbed the rope and yanked at it with that. I'm so sorry. Yanked at oh, it without God. any hesitation. Oh. Well, it seems nobody came. <laughs> Shut your mouth. This is the same thing it was last time. I know. Just like last time, I was trying to have still busy. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the air vents. So this air duct is connected to Soga's cabin, right? 
Yes, although I still don't really understand why it's built that way. Oh, I have an idea. Maybe it's so that in the unlikely event of a gas leak, the person next door would notice. But wouldn't that mean the person in the other room would also be breathing the gas? Oh, um, you have a point. So Sogi saw a speckled band around that vent last night. Okay. Does it matter if we look at the door or the notice? Um, I... I don't think so. Because we already kind of solved that mystery. <clears throat> now let's take a look at the, uh, the bookshelf. These books have all fallen over. Not a single one is left standing. Is that a statuette of the Guardian God of the Sea? It's fallen on its side. Wait a minute. I feel like we've seen something like this before. Remember Asogi's cabin? Do you think by any chance that uh, Nikomina knocked all these things over when she was practicing or dancing? Hmm. Why would she really? Be, why would she be working on her dance in the first day she de she defected? Well then, did you make her lose her temper, causing her to knock everything down in a furry? Like I've been saying, furry. please stop, huh. please stop blaming everything that happens on me. Anyway, let me put things back as they were. This would also bother me otherwise. Why though? That is weird. That why why we had to do that? Yeah. Um. Okay. Well, I'm very interested in the in the trunk. Let's just okay. Look in the trunk. I think it means trunk. Uh. Ah, the trunk from earlier is wide open. It's entirely empty. But according to the great detective's deductions, Nikomina has been uh, had been hiding her friend inside. Yes, and she felt compelled to keep that a secret. Because the essence of Claire doesn't allow animals to be brought aboard, right? Just what was stuffed into this trunk? And where could it have gone since we were last in here? Hmm. Uh, how about the desk? Okay. There are only a few books on this desk. Well, Nikomina did say she did only just arrive in this cabin last night, after all. On that topic, I wonder what kinds, of, what kind of books she reads. Good question. Let's take a look here. Jeez. It's written in Russian. You, you notice how she was actually flipping from right to left? Yeah, I was <laughs> like, that's cute. I could have guessed that was that was so without hearing it from you. Well, asking me for anything more than that is just rather unfair. Uh, oh, we can examine the waste bin. Ooh. It's the waste paper bin for this cabin. Well, should we take a little peek inside? Not a hodo. It's not polite to rummage around in other people's bins. She's looking at me like I'm the only waste around here. Well, I suppose we can make an exception considering the circumstances. That's right. The circumstances, of course. There's hardly any rubbish in here at all, waste paper or otherwise. Hmm. That is rather disappointing. It is. Damn it. Mm. Take a look at a plate on the floor, because she said, don't touch this. So it's like, hmm. Hmm. Someone dropped a dish on the floor. I don't think it fell. It looks like someone placed it there on purpose. Oh! Is it really true, then? Has the ship sprung a leak here? Huh? D do you think it's okay? Surely it must be. Uh, surely we're still safe, right? Well, even if there was a small leak, I don't think we'd be in danger of sinking. Th that makes sense. Right? Right. Uh, we're going to be just fine. Wow. <laughs> and we'll take a look at the pots. Uh, yes. <laughs> Not the pot, no. <laughs> Not at all. There's nothing inside the teapot. Hmm. Russians are known to drink a lot, a lot because their throats are always dry, right? More likely, since Nikomina, more likely since Nikomina arrived last night, she hasn't had time to make yet. 
I suppose either one could be correct. But I bet two copper coins that it's because their throats are always dry. Now you're just being stubborn, Natahodo. These are some weird comments here and there. Maybe, yeah. maybe this is why the game wasn't entirely localized. Uh. But doesn't that say something more about the writers of this game then? Yeah. Ha! <laughs> uh, whatever. Um. Well. I guess we have the door and the notice. That is the only thing left. Um. Let's take a look at the notice then. Okay. The SSL Claire's ship regulations are also posted in his cabin. Not storing any dangerous goods such as weapons or animals in the cabins. Nikomina must have seen this notice before hiding her animal in the trunk. Her friend, as it were. <laughs> Wait, our friend has disappeared from the trunk and gone missing. I suppose it might be enjoying a leisurely stroll through the ship. Then I pray Mr. Stroganoff doesn't find it and decide to throw it into the sea. That would be pretty bad. Okay, guess the door now? I see this door is also equipped with an iron bolt, just like the one in Asogi's cabin. Once the bolt's locked into place, gaining entrance into the cabin is impossible. This bolt... It appears to be rather small and light, but... It's heavy enough to not slip out of place. And the door is also iron, so you couldn't use a magnet from the outside to move the bolt. Moreover, the door is sealed to prevent the entry of seawater during an emergency. As a result, the needle and thread trick wouldn't be used on this door either. Uh, again, I can see why it's not far-fetched to cast suspicions on me on, uh, for the crime. The hell? Did is we that it? Yeah. Did we miss something? Uh... I, w I would have expected a thing to say... Like, move forward, you know? Right. This is weird. Uh. I don't know. I mean. I don't see anything else. Me neither. Maybe we just have to leave? Maybe. I'm just doing one more look around. Yeah. Guess, guess we're done. Wait, 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 no. What? What? Dip, wait. I thought I saw something. Where? It was like around the door to bolt and no, never mind. I'm playing I guess playing tricks on my eyes. Damn, I really thought I saw something that was new. Um Yeah, I guess we can just leave. Go back to the hallway maybe. Okay. Oh, maybe we can... Maybe the door's not locked any... Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Look to the right. Uh... Wait, hold on. I can't do anything. Wait. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I, was, I was like, what the hell is that? I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Hello. Sherlock. Oh, God. Ah! Th that's Mr. Holmes! Wow, you never know where he'll pop up next. That's for sure. He appears to be stealing glances at something between hums. La la la, the greatest detective of all. Even though we're clearly staring right at him, he's still singing his heart out. He does seem to be in high spirits. Oh, his name, his wondrous name. Everyone knows it. Nary a soul denies it. I, uh, excuse me? Lone yet supreme. Yes, his name is... Sherlock Holmes! Oh, what? What, you again? <laughs> what are you gonna do, man? You gonna try... Oh, are you He's really? Swearing up. Really? Are, what is that, mate? Are, are you trying to do a like, rope dope? What are you doing? 
Don't disturb people while they're singing. I was just about to reach the crescendo. Well, you keep building up your name, but you never sing it, so I thought I'd do it for you. You were this close to getting a face full of my prized right hook. All right, all right, I get it. Can you please put those fists of fury away now? <laughs> that was cute. Oh. So, Mr. Holmes, uh, we seem to have caught you in the middle of investig- Ah, um, yes, I suppose you mean this. Why, this is a ship's log. That outrageously muscular sailor wrote it in before he left. Wrote in it, I should say. The ship's log? Was there anything unusual written in it? Well, uh, the contents of la last night's ent uh, blah, blah, blah. the contents of last night's entry was are practically blank after two a.m. So, in other words, there was nothing out of the ordinary last night. <laughs> Laughing. What more could I expect from a Japanese exchange student clad in darkness? Huh? What are you talking about, Sherlock? You've got it backwards, my young friend. Uh, what do you mean? If you look at some other pages, I think you'll understand. It appears that the good sailor's assignment was to keep a close watch on this corridor. The typical regulation is to record nothing unusual in the log every 30 minutes or so. Oh. Every 30 minutes or so? Nothing unusual. Needless to say, if nothing of note occurred, nothing unusual will be written here. But, as it so happens, the log entry for last night is blank. There are no reports at all. So, c could that possibly mean that? I believe that last night the good sailor left this location due to some circumstance. And just what that circumstance might be? While I still don't know, Edwager must have been quite the circumstance. So much that it slipped his mind to write nothing unusual in the ship's log afterwards. Sure, this information I found will be worth taking note of. Uh, hmm. I'm being serious, and don't call me Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Uh, I gotta watch that movie again. <laughs> uh, uh. Well, I'm stretching. <sighs> Excuse me. Alright. Uh, records of the Sailor Garden First Class Cabin section, the entries from 2 a.m. until this morning are blank. It looks like his self proclaimed title as a great detective at least has some merit. Now, it seems you are finally beginning to grasp why I am the famous Mr. Holmes. Ah ha 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 no, no, I'm fine. My head has been rather heavy today. Perhaps one could say it's pounding. What the heck? Huh? Did everyone take a pounding yesterday? <laughs> well then, lady and gentlemen. <laughs> may our paths cross again soon. That humming's finally trailing off. Hmm. What's on your mind, Sasato? You seem to be lost in thought. Well, to be honest, mine has been hurting too. Huh? Ever since this morning, my head has felt so heavy for some reason. What the heck? What? Oh, okay, the puppy is uh, whining. Oh. I thought it was the game. I'm like, what the heck is that noise? Oh. Wait, what the heck? Is he alright? Let me check, one second. Oh, I think I hear him. Poor guy, check it out. Alright guys, we'll be right- well, she'll be right back. In the meantime, I'm just checking up on you guys. Um... Oh, ooh. There's a discombobulate, uh... Stay right there. Stay. Uh, clip. I'm gonna have to watch that later. Sit. Sit. Uh, oh, excuse me. Sit. Sit. Stay. 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 Lay down. <laughs> what? No. Lay down. Lay down. 
Lay down. Okay, come here. Stay right there. Don't mess with anything. Oh, that's my headphones. <laughs> okay, good boy. You stay right there. Okay, he just wanted some attention. Oh, puppy. Okay, all right. Now you stay right there. So if you hear any jingling in the background. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oops. Okay. Uh, which line are we on? Uh, it's like a constant pounding. It's like a constant pounding. Giggity. <laughs> so you too then. Okay. Well, now it's weird that it's affecting everybody. Everybody. Can we examine the door now? Uh. Oops. <laughs> it's a whole other nope. way. Uh, no. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm going to take a look at the, the log, though, really quick. Uh, so, yeah. This was... The Watchman was Stroganov. Mm-hmm. And it says in here, nothing unusual every 30 minutes leading until right after 1.30. So, hmm. so it's like, what the hell happened? And if anything, he's looking really suspicious at this point. Right? But that seems too obvious. Hmm. Well, um... I don't know. Maybe we should. We we can't. Uh, we can't present anything to Hosanaga, can we? Hmm. We didn't get anything new, did we? Oh, the log. Just a log, but I don't. I don't think we can actually. I mean, I, I think legit we can't present anything. Right. But I don't know where else we can go. So. Asogi's cabin. Actually, we can wait. We can we can actually check or like examine the cabin too. Um. Oh, okay. Miko Minos. Just see if that does anything. It's, it's the door to Nico Minos' cabin. Sorry, I'm not there yet. No, you're good. This might be our golden opportunity. Really? I don't see any of those sailors coming or going in the hallway right now. I think we finally have a chance to investigate to our heart's content. I don't think investigating my best friend's murder is going to make me content. But there might be some important things left in the exam Nicomino's cabin. You know, I'm gonna go back in there. Okay. And Nicomino's cabin. Oh! That's, uh, that's the emergency alarm, right? Yeah. <sighs> Warning! This is not a drill! A ship has been confirmed 500 yards ahead! We will make a sharp turn to avoid collision! All hands, prepare for a possible impact! What is happening? It sounds like as if our ship is about to collide with another one. What? Uh, oh no, I can't keep my balance! This is all to grab onto me! Yeah! Sasato, are you alright? Are you injured? No, I'm fine. Thank you, Naruhoro. Now look at that. The Now the hmm. bookshelves are all messed up again. Yep. Hmm. Okay, it looks like we avoided the collision. The ship. It looks like we stopped. N Naruhoro, are you hurt at all? No, no, I'm okay. Hello? Is anyone in there? Please respond. That voice. It's Detective Hosanaga. Is that you, Norhono? Please undo the bolt, quickly. The bolt? Oh, look, Narahodo. Oh, the bolt. It's locked. Oh. Wait, Sasato, did you bolt the door? N no, I didn't touch it at all. That's strange. How did that happen? And these books. 
I've seen this all before. All right, I'm going to unbolt the door. I think we know what happened, but you know we're gonna yeah. leave it alone. I should clean up this mess and put the room back to uh, back to how it was before. The emergency stop was too flashy to have been simply called a mystery. It was certain that there would be something unpleasant awaiting us beyond the door. I couldn't help but think about that as I slowly began climbing, cleaning up the disheveled room. What? Huh? This game's weird when it comes to two it... continues, right? <laughs> yeah. It's not just me, right? It's just like... No, yeah, that's weird. That's very weird. Uh... I mean... It says here we've been playing for like 50 minutes. Like from this... Well, maybe a little bit more from last break to this break. Uh... I don't know. Should we just continue for a little bit more and then... Well, actually, did we see how long we wanted to, rec we wanted to stream for today? I don't think we did. That's a problem. Um... I mean, I'm still fine, but I want to make sure that you're still fine, too. I'm good. I could probably go f for about another hour. Like, I think that's the max I can probably do. Mm. So... Because my thing is, it's like... I'd like to do the same thing, but then again, I don't know when the next stopping point is going to be. To be continued is. Yeah. Hey, that's always a problem. Um, and frankly, that's why sometimes we can't record uh, more we want to. And some people are saying this actually might be a good place to stop. Because apparently the next part's super long. Uh. I mean... I could take your guys' word for it. I mean, since you guys know what's up a little bit more. I mean, uh, this is only, I'm not going to lie. This, this is what really, really sucks ass about streaming or recording. Because if it, guys, if this was just me, oh, you know damn well, I could just keep playing until it's freaking midnight. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but because we're here to entertain you guys. <laughs> Obviously, I'm kidding, but um, but yeah, no, I guess uh, we'll take your guys' recommendations and uh, we'll just stop here. Stop for here. The day. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and save really quick. Oh, save. Uh, crap. This was yesterday. I have stacking things. Here we go. <clears throat> no, I understand. I don't need to stop at to be continued points, uh, Gilbert Twain. It's just more so that. If I st if we stop in the middle of something, it's going to be very odd for not only my ourselves, but you guys as well, you know? So that's mm -hmm. why I don't, like, I'm like, you know, it's like, what is a good stopping point, you know? 